Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome back to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down happy. It goes just like this. Okay, so for this first part, I'm going to break down the intro and also the pattern for the verse. We're playing in the key of F. And for the chords of the intro and verse, we're starting with an F7 chord. Playing octave F on the left. A, C, E flat, and F. So we have the major third, the fifth, the seventh, and F, the root. Okay, then I'm going to switch up just a little bit and turn F major to F minor. We're playing F on the left, only one note, with A flat and C on the right hand. Moving up, a minor third on A flat major, a flat on the left, A flat C and E flat. Now moving up a whole step on B flat major, B flat, B flat D and F. And moving up a whole step again on C major, and that's the last chord. C on the left, C, E and G. Okay, so let's recap from the top. We have F7, then F minor, A flat, B flat, and C. So, for the intro, what we're going to do is play and break an F7 chord on every beat, like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's all we're going to do for the intro. One, two, three, four. So that's the intro. Then we're going to start the pattern of the verse. It goes like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so just like the intro, we're starting with an F7 chord that we're going to play and break, only on the first beat. And then we're going to stay silent for two measures, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we're playing nothing because that's when Pharrell starts to sing. Okay, so F7, play and break, first beat, and then play nothing for two measures, and then we have this. Okay, let me first break down what's going on on the left. We have this bass line. So I'm playing F, moving up on A flat, then B flat, a quick A flat again, going up on C. And then, to finish, I'm going to play a back and forth between B flat and A flat. So B flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, and then I'm going to finish on F, now playing octave F, like this. Play and break. That's for the left. Now with the right hand. Playing F on the left, I'm going to play my A. Correction. 
with F on the left, I'm going to play my F minor chord. So I'm going to add A flat and C on my right hand. Like this. Okay. And then with A flat, I'm simply going to play A flat major. So from the F minor, I'm going to add E flat on top. And then with B flat, I'm playing B flat major. B flat, D and F. A quick A flat that I'm going to play alone on the left. And then we have C major. C, C, E, and G. That's the first part of the movement. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one. Okay, next up, I have B flat that I'm going to play alone on the left. And then I have this. Here I'm playing B flat major, B flat D and F on my right hand with A flat on the left. And then I'm going to continue my back and forth on the left, so I'm going to play again B flat going down on A flat and then I'm going to finish with octave F. And with octave F I'm starting another verse, another pattern for the verse, so I'm playing F7 on the first beat, play and break. A, C, E flat, F, octave F. And that's all we're going to do for the verse. We're going to play and repeat that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Last time. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now as you can see, instead of playing F7 on the first beat, I played D flat major 7. That's the first chord of the chorus. Octave D flat, F, A flat, C, and F. So just after finishing the bass line on the left. Play this. Okay, let's recap. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.